Hello there, welcome back to the Russian Federation. We have a brand new flag and uh, a new outlook on life. I'm sure the generals don't mind the switch of governments. The, uh, the war with Poland just pushed the public too far in opposition. We do have a, have a big wide front with the Germans. Now hopefully they don't cause us any strife. I wouldn't like that. We don't want to have the, uh, these guys screwed over now, do we? Poland, we really need you to uh, build us a bit of an army. Could request forces, could use my own guns to arm their own population. We'll, uh, we'll leave it though, and hope that they are able to arm themselves. I have plenty of forces on the way, hopefully they'll uh, do a good job. The navy is just going into the, uh, the Black Sea now, so my navy over here is as big as it's going to get. Where is it? Why? Oh, it's you guys. Yeah, you actually weren't ever sent out. Let's put you all up again. Yeah, your job is all this sea, but I doubt you'll ever be in a rush to go out and fight there. You guys only have that sea, so it's not that big of a concern. And then you chaps over here, you have this, you have that. Yeah, the navies are all fine. We need a bit more oil, though, if we are going to be able to look after these guys. But that will come from research, I think, mainly. The German Reich claims Mimel, with German forces on their border poised to attack. Lithuania has given in to the German ultimatum, demanding the surrender of the old Prussian territory of Mimel. It was passed to Lithuania by the Treaty of Fasalis, but now has been reintegrated into the region of Oost Prussen. Have we yet reached the extent of German territorial ambitions in Europe? Experts are doubtful. Another batch of maps made obsolete. Oh, I'm sure that will be the end of it. I'm sure. Now, is there anything else I'm going to want here? Captain of Industry would be nice for factory speed. He's only going to do those. Is there a guy to do... No, you are just stability, Kalin. I wouldn't mind having more stability. Stability is useful. Very useful. Many subjects. Free. They're all very close to free states. And now we have free dockyards. Terrific. Well, let's get some uh, level 2 submarines to join in on the fleet of... Uh, there was one of the blue one. Was it a darker one? It was the bigger dark one. We'll get it uh, to go into there. And we'll select you to uh, be split in half, actually. Because you are quite big. Not that one. That one. Yes. Accessible regions, you're, you're all in the same job there. Oh, these guys are actually using fuel to patrol there. Alright. Why don't you chaps? You're using fuel as well. You're using fuel. But you're not. What if I did tell you to patrol? Are we then going to be losing fuel? No, we, we have the fuel to be uh, parading around all these regions. Well then, let's do it. Research slot available. Now we'll be now going towards more oil production. Fuel gain per oil plus twenty percent. That sounds like a good time. I'm modifying the governments. I, uh, yeah. We don't need to worry about manpower just yet. Are we regrouping? Get more assaults. Division recovery rate. I like the idea of that. I do. Let's do it. Regrouping. Very, very useful indeed. I could tell this navy to go around here as well. I think I will. I think I will. And hopefully the navy here does get much larger. No national focuses. Well, that's uh, just par for the course at the moment. Anti-fascist diplomacy. Yeah, what nonsense. We could keep going through there, though, I think. I think we will. Let's uh, start actually giving towards that. More research points. Well, let's uh, let's go for construction. I would like to get the uh, factories here up and built. It would help us out so dearly with the uh, the guns here. Let's actually uh, up you again. And we're going to go through and get more of these tanks. I would like to learn about anti-tanks uh, soon, but uh, I just have so many things I do need to do here. Also, Finland is not very well uh, defended at all. 
10 divisions in all of Finland, we need about 20 on there, but we don't have the people, so we'll just uh, reinforce the Romanian border first, and then worry about everything else later. Yeah, it will be hard. We don't have all the manpower to do uh, what we want here, but let's give these guys some goals, if there were to be a war. Or at least uh, prefer that they had something in mind to achieve if a war did uh, kick out over here. And the pinks is have you just try and secure down that way. Excellent. So the uh, checks here, do they have any factories at all? Well, not really. Manpower, you do have a fair few Poland. Let's see you with an army. Belarus, zero manpower, Ukraine only 5,000. Well, hopefully these guys get their shit together because that is abysmal. Poland, though, does have the ability to become a very strong nation. The amount of soldiers they create should be a huge reinforcement. Uh, German Reich formalizes anti-Soviet pack. Adolf Hitler has been a vocal opponent of communism since before he came to power. And there has never been any doubt that the German Reich considers itself an enemy of the Russian Federation. We're not Soviet, though. Today, that attitude has been announced to the world. As a previously held anti-Soviet agreement between the German Reich and several other countries now has been formalized into a pact. The other members will be called to war should one of them end up in conflict with us. Let them bleed each other dry. Let them bleed each other dry, indeed. We don't need to worry about their nonsense. Guns. Come on, guns. We need a, we need a ton of you. A literal ton. More. Always room for more. Shame I lost all these factories, would be so much further ahead by now. Also, you should be uh, doing as much as you can here, chaps. And I'm sure a few of you would also be very nice later on. Let's unpause. I have been pausing a uh, fair bit here. Political power, yes. We're going to go with. Um, what was I going to go with? I'm sure I had a plan. No, I, my plan was to do with these. Okay, well, with the points, we could go with expanding uh, production or resource production. We don't need terribly much things. Tungsten, rubber, a little lower. Neither of which are options here. Or well, you are, but not yet. And there is the creating of an agency. I think we'll go with that. NKVD. Okay, let's build it then. Agency will be formed. We'll get some operatives and we will be uh, counter off operating to the German Reich, I'm sure. Keep them out of our country, our glorious, glorious nation. With tanks, we are 223 days behind. With guns, we are 139 days behind. Transpolar flights, excellent. Well, let's now learn about an ocean-going navy. Very good. Could ban fascism. Ah, the People's Army has also uh, been found. Well, let's uh, continue there. Uh, sorry about that clap. There was a mosquito flying around me. Get a fair few of them out in uh, rural Canada. Ah, good. We're starting to have men on the Romanian border. Probably all with the best guns, of course. There will be 15 in total. Uh, I like 16 better. 17, 18, but let's uh, put you down to here now and have the reinforcements and upgrades on uh, full. They are fully manned. Excellent, the NKVD has been built. Let's go ahead and uh, we want defense. We're going to go with uh, passive defense here. Excellent. If we have a good operative, we can stick in Moscow to keep the Germans out. Very good. We do have a fair few forces here, but I, I still don't think that'd be anywhere near enough. Come on, Poland. Where's our reinforcements? Oh, guaranteed by United Kingdom. Oh, that's good. Get my puppets. But they guarantee you. So using most of their guys for military uh, equipment, and then they got a few on aircraft. I won't complain of that. You guys still don't have any manpower or the factories. 
Still not much manpower. What about you guys? Do you have any manpower? 122. You have a huge fuel reserve. Hmm. Interesting. Passive defense. Alright. Good for them. We can now get a uh, operational guy as well. He. Oh, we got a few chaps with some double passports here. Richard Sorge. Diplomatic pressure missions. Uh, Kim Philby. He's British. I'm British. Maybe we'll team up with that guy. Diminishes expert. Tough. You are double agent and infiltrator. Ooh. Why are you, Kim? That's because I like you. Excellent. Uh, next upgrade will go for passive defense again. And with Kim, let's get him to... Uh, Counterintelligence just in uh, our home nation here. Building center? What, what, which one is it? Oh, it's already on us. Well, good. Yeah, just go here and protect us, would you, uh, Kim Philby? Good man. Ah, Poland now does have an army. I saw four divisions when I was zoomed out, but where did they go? Oh, there's a chap over here. Yes, the Polish Republic is rebuilding. I'm sure they forgive the uh, Russian soldiers in their lands. They are pro-diplomacy, I am entirely sure. Mountainous troops, infantry divisions, good. They are going to deploy a grand na uh, army, I'm sure. Uh, modified government again, I don't think there's anything here I wish to do. Concealment expert for enemy air support. Society better stuff there. Captain infantry. Infrastructure, refinery, smooth talking charmer. Let's go for popular figurehead and then let's go with uh, here. Found the PCDI gains. People's Commissarat of Defense and Troops Grant. Civilian to military factory conversion. That's not what I care for. What I care for is uh, going down here because then we can do our fortification lines. Also, even annexing Tanatuva might work. I'm not sure though. Maybe you can get claims on these guys, despite being a uh, democracy. We'll see. Wasn't something I was planning on, but if we could uh, secure places like Lithuania and Latvia, that'd be terrific. So you are being uh, guaranteed here. Huge shame. Much rather you were not. But thank you, Poland, for doing your part. The uh, German army, though, is on our front. They have turned up. Decisions, anything we can do about uh, spy networks? No. Let's get rid of that though, and let's get rid of this. Don't need to worry about any of those type things. Construction level 3 was that. Excellent. Let's go with you guys as well. We, we do need more guns and uh, spies. Support equipment do very well. I don't know if we even have any being used. No, you don't. Well, let's give you then some uh, uh, cavalry recon detachments. Engineers. I want engineers. Then we'll see uh, how many uh, support equipment we require. Oh, we just about had enough. Very good. But we are going to want to uh, increase your load here. So we can get a heck of a lot more. Tanks nearly have all the tanks we need and motorized. Motorized 100 odd days. Motorized is actually the uh, lowest fulfilling here. So let's get you guys some more factories too. Oh, I can imagine why you're all the way down there. Let's get both of you to six. And both of you down here. Hopefully we'll fill up you guys relatively easily. Italy announces claims on Yugoslav in... Oh, jeez, my mouth. Yugoslavian territory. Speaking to the Italian populations along the Dalmatian coast, Benito Messalini has announced that Italy fully considers Italian-speaking territory in Yugoslavia to be rightful part of Italy. An official statement backed up to claims... Backed up the claims, making it clear that Italy is prepared to take the territory by force. Poland refuses the German ultimatum, considering the demands it seemed inevitable. The Polish Republic would be forced to see Danzig to Germany, and a Polish uh, pioneer would be sent to Berlin to negotiate further terms. Wincenti Wintos pointed to the German Reich's recent actions when stating that it was obvious Germany would not be satisfied with Danzig alone. 
German and Polish forces are prepared for war and reports are already coming in of clashes along the border. This is a grave situation. Are you at war? Are we about to be at war with Germany? Huh. Unless they're not doing it because of me. I, I would hope so. The German Reich has de declared war on the Polish Republic, which means they have declared war on me. We're we calling in the Czech Republic, the Republic of Ukraine, and the Republic of Belarus. Excellent. The uh, forces here in Poland were guaranteed by Britain, so hopefully Britain will join. France, however, is not a part of their faction, so France joining is not something we uh, have set in stone here. Italy has also now joined the German Reich. Has the British jo have the British joined the war? Britain is not in the war. We will have uh, offer them docking rights, and later on military access. Right, there are now uh, some skirmishes here. Oh, the German Reich has invited us, no, the British have invited us to their faction. We could join the Allies. It's historical that Russia and Britain were allies. I was going to go with my own faction for this campaign, but... We're not currently able to even make one, so I will join the faction here. The Russian Federation has joined the Allies, which means Poland has also joined the Allies, as well as Belarus and Ukraine. And uh, Czechia, of course. And we'll be calling everyone into this war. Including Communist China. And China. What a unique trifecta of... Uh, is trifecta right that word? I'm going to use it anyway. What a unique trifecta of nations here. You have Russia, the United Kingdom, and China teaming up for freedom. For freedom of all things. What? What lunacy, honestly. What lunacy. But yes, we do have a fair few troops on the border here. Let's go ahead and have you chaps try to secure this land from Germany. So we can get you all on the other front there. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Why did we leave all this land unguarded? No! Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Do not leave. The border unmanned, you imbeciles. You complete and utter imbeciles. They're doing it again. I fucking hate it when the AI does this. Why? Why must you completely switch around our forces when we are at war defending territory? This is absurd. Completely and utterly absurd. It is ridiculous. You're leaving our entire northern Poland line undefended. And for what? Why? Why must the AI do this? They are completely and utterly retarded and it still happens. The game has been released for, what, four fucking years? And this shit still occurs. It is ridiculous. It is unacceptable. It should not happen. Yet it still happens in the game. It is absurd. We're just going to leave the entire Western Front unmanned. While we switch the units around. This is ridiculous. I did not tell the army to do this. Why are they doing it? This is ridiculous. Completely and utterly ridiculous. Oh great, they remanned it in time. Lost all of their organisation. Lost all of their dug-in protection. They lost everything. As well as a bit of territory in Krakow. They did lose territory. Oh great. And half of uh, Czechoslovakia. Great. Well done, guys. Yeah, just just leave the entire line undefended. Yeah, it, it's great. Uh, there's nothing more I, I wish for in my army's forces than to do such smart and intellectual things as that. Called arms request from China. No, we're not going to be declaring war on Japan. If we were to declare war on Japan, we'd have an entire other front line here using up resources. We will, however, tell them to have a uh, offensive line against the Japanese forces so that if war is declared on us and we don't have an option, we do have forces going after them. Oh, let's uh, 
I think we got to have them over these guys here, so let's just uh, do that anyway. Um, the forces over Sinkiang, I'm not sure if you would ever join them. So let's actually have your army give us another three divisions here. The AI is so goddamn retarded. The game's been released for so many years, yet still, still, the AI would decide to leave an entire front line undefended. It is absurdly ridiculous. Anyway, Canada has joined the war on our side, so we have that going for us. There are little areas where we are struggling. On this uh, Slovakian border, we do have a bit of a battle going on there. Now, I'd rather not be losing. But of course, uh, we lost all of our dug-in bonuses, so why would we be able to defend our territory? However, we are taking uh, Koningsberg here with relative ease. It looks like British forces are going to be joining in here to help. They're also offering to send me rifles. Well, I appreciate that, because we are a little bit lacking on both rifles and guns. Oh, rifles and guns, same thing. Both rifles and uh, tanks. Now, Japan here has joined on their side, so hopefully... Hopefully we won't get squeezed out here and we'll be able to come through and uh, take this territory if they do bring in these chaps. These chaps are at war with us. No, they're at war with everyone but... You are, pardon me, French. Looks like uh, you're losing territory here to Japan. Looks like you are at war with Japan. You are at war with Japan. Queen, King China... Is at war with Japan. Uh, I don't understand. But Japan is now at war with me. So we have that bit of fun going for us. Let's ensure that that border there is defended. Uh, what's going on with the Navy here? We have uh, seen a transport ship sunk. It doesn't matter though. Uh, Mimol here is about to fall. And we'll have an entire extra army on the western front here. A great hail help they will be. Good. The Czech Republic, however, has capitulated. Now let's get you guys to reinforce a front line along the south. No, that's not what we want. We do not want that. What we want is you to have a front line along the south like this, as a extra precautionary measure. Seeing as the forces there are quite useless at the moment, due to losing all of their dug-in bonuses. We do have new planes though, so let us go ahead and uh, have these guys switch over their production. No need to switch in their production, but have them a little bit more reliable, with more weapons. A better engine. Excellent. We'll go for that. We don't actually have any planes uh, bu being built at the moment, so hopefully these factories come through soon. We're actually going for civilian factories next. Let's uh, switch you guys around real quick. So we do have a production of military factories going well um, as well. So what armies do we have here? It looks like 12 Polish and 1 British division are in the area. Well, hopefully they do a good job. We have not been pushed on the Western Front, but the Southern Front we have. Krakow is now on the front end of the battle. German pressure towards the Benelux. Uh, following the breakout of war with France, Germany... Wait, what? You're at war with France? No, you're not. Uh, Germany has uh, applied stronger diplomatic pressure than ever on the countries of the Benelux. With French and British backing, however, they are refusing to give in to the pressures. There is reason to believe that if the German Reich is unable to get what they want by diplomacy, they will use force. Oh, is there reason to believe so? Would it be the war we are currently in with them? We have lost 28,000. We have killed 75. Good. Good. We have killed more than we have lost. However, Czechia is no longer an option. Czechia has been lost. Uh, Poland, though, you uh, are rebuilding. Thank you. I hope you continue to get even more divisions here. As for uh, Ukraine, do you still have no uh, manpower? They don't have any manpower, and you guys don't uh, either. That is a shame. Hopefully they do uh, bring it around. 
How are we doing in the air? We're doing uh, oof, not too good in the air. And on the uh, on the sea, we're doing all right. The navies here, they look a bit smaller. But that is where we're sending all of our new ships, so hopefully they uh, can keep up. Unread naval battles, let's have a quick look there. That's just a uh, transport. Well, that's fine. Poland should be uh, trading with us. Now we're holding off the uh, Russians and Italians. No, it looks like Italians and Slovaks. The Germans aren't actually attacking here. So we're holding them off well. Okay, well that will do for this episode. When you come back, we might have to uh, try and take out Japan. But Japan is not getting uh, a good landing here. Japan is, uh, is struggling. They have quite the army, so I doubt we'd be able to land on any of their areas. In fact, you guys. Uh, yes. Let's have this go as well, should we? Terrific. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.